Hello and welcome to UkraMedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is if else statement. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects and for this example, I've already brought in these checkboxes right on top of my shape layer here. And by the way, if you're wondering how to bring them in, uh, here I am in the effects controls. You can just right click and go to expression controls and then check boxes right here. By the way, if you do want the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at ukramedia.com slash tip33. Okay, so next I'm gonna select this layer right here and hit T to reveal the opacity. I'm gonna alt click on the opacity here to activate my expression. And in here, I'm gonna set some variables. And these variables are gonna call these check boxes. So I'm gonna say the first one's gonna be on switch. And I'll say you'll be this checkbox right here. And then next one's gonna be opacity 25. And that's gonna be that one right there. And then opacity 50. And that's gonna be that one. And last one's gonna be opacity 75. All right, so next we're gonna do the if statement. So I'm gonna say if, in parentheses, I'm gonna say if on switch is equal to one. And by the way, the reason why I say equal to one because checkboxes go from zero to one. So if it's not checked, it's zero. If it is checked, it's one. And the reason why I know this, I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna bring the text here and I'm gonna just say value. And I'm gonna go into the source of it. I'm gonna hit S to solo it. And then I'm gonna all click to activate the expression. And I'm just gonna pick whip to the checkbox just to show you what I'm talking about here. So right now, the, this checkbox is not checked, so it's giving me zero. If I check it, it's gonna give you one. So it goes from zero to one. Okay. So that's clear. It's that simple. So I'm going to say if this on switch, I'm referring to this checkbox right here. If it is one, which is checked, I wanted to do the following. So I'm going to say if the on switch is one, and I'm going to open up the curly bracket, I'll want it to be 100%. And I'm going to close the curly bracket. And I'm going to say else, in other words, if it's not checked, I want it to be zero. And then close curly bracket. Okay, that's pretty simple. If I let go right now, you can see that it, it is at 0%. And if I check my on switch right here, you can see that it is exactly 100%. If I uncheck, it's zero. So it's pretty easy. Now, another word for one, like I know in the expression world, you see like true and false. Basically, it means one and zero. False means zero, true is one. So instead of one, I can say true. So if it is true, in other words, if it is one, I wanted the opacity to be 100%, but if it's false, zero. So that's what false and true means. If you ever like go through expressions and you see false, true, it's just basically a value between zero and one. Okay, so next I want to plug these in. So if 25 is checked, I want it to be 25% opacity. So how do I make this happen with this expression? So in here I'm going to say close square bracket, and then I'm going to say else if, and in the parentheses I'm going to do the same thing what we did here. I'm going to say opacity 25 is checked. So if this checkbox is equals to 1, do the following. So that's what it means. So I'm going to say if it's equals to 1, I'm going to say I want it to be at 25%. So it's that simple. If I have this checked, see it's giving me 25, so it works well. All right, next I'm going to select this and Control c to copy it, and then Control v to paste. And I'm going to do the same thing for 50. So you can, you can have as many of those as you want. Okay, the same thing for 50. If I uncheck this, you can see 50. It's giving me 50%, so it's working well. And let's do the same thing for 75. So I'm going to select this, Control-C, Control-V, and in here I'm going to say 75. So if I check 75, it's going to give me opacity 75. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And by the way, tomorrow I'm going to continue with this. I'll introduce you to comparison and logical operators. So definitely come back tomorrow to see that. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.